Hey everybody, welcome back to the Sunday Morning Jazz Pick. I'm Scott, thank you for tuning in today and thank you for your support. Today, I've got a beauty for you, Gene Ammons, boss tenor. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous Sunday morning listen. I cannot get it off my turntable. I wanna tell you all about it in a second. Before I start, I just wanted to remind you that there is very little time left to get in on the Tone Poet giveaway. It happens when we reach 7,500 subscribers. We are almost there. I think it's uh, 140 left, and that could happen within the week. So um, I urge you to watch the video above and below and do what it says. All, all you got to do is watch it and leave a comment in the comment section of that video, and you're automatically entered to win a copy of Babyface will let face to face. So uh, there's that going on. Um, and let's get to this album. So Boss Tenor. Um, came to my attention through a video that Chad Kassam did on the Prestige series, in particular that they were repressing some. And Boss Tenor had been out of stock for a long, long time. He went on about the sound on it, and that piqued my interest enough to sample it. Now, with the Prestige series, I'm not overly familiar with a lot of these titles, and I had never heard this before, so I spent some time auditioning it on streaming, and absolutely loved what I heard, and I couldn't wait to get the record. Um, when the record arrived, the experience was even better. It's beautiful. A beautiful Sunday morning jazz listen, and one of the best recorded jazz albums I've heard yet um, by Rudy Van Gelder. It was done in 1960, and uh, the other players are Tommy Flanagan on piano, Doug Watkins on bass, Art Taylor on drums, and Ray Barreto on congas, which the congas add a really nice touch to this album. It is relaxed, it is bluesy, it is soulful. The whole thing is just ear candy for the audiophile and for the jazz lover. And uh, it's perfect for that kind of Sunday morning vibe. There's nothing on here that's going to like jar your senses. There's only one truly upbeat number and the rest is just kind of a, either a soft swinging so style or bluesy style. And boy, the sound on this um, that Rudy Van Gelder got is amazing. Um, Gene Ammons plays tenor sax. Uh, the sax is recorded so beautifully. It's so present, rounded, warm, and detailed. I couldn't imagine a more perfect recording of the tenor sax. It has a wonderful presence, and the rest of the soundstage is uh, nicely filled out with the other players, but he's usually appearing in the left channel. Um, and there's uh, a lot of reverb, not too much, but uh, there's reverb on his sound, which is a little different from the blue note sound. Um, so the even though he's in the left channel, it kind of spreads a little bit and has the illusion of filling out the space in the soundstage gorgeous and it starts with hitting the jug it's an original composition by gene ammons very bluesy a great bass line and when that sax enters you're going to be oh, wow <laughs> wow it's very beautiful playing um i i've he's become my instant favorite for tenor sax actually uh it is my cup of tea absolutely and if you like some of my other sunday morning jazz picks you're going to love this one um, they also do Close My Eyes, which is a little more upbeat, beautiful. Uh, My Romance, which is a, a gorgeous, gorgeous rendition of that song. I love it. Beautiful, beautiful playing. Uh, great sound all, all around. Canadian Sunset is an old chestnut that uh, I haven't heard in a while, and they do a beautiful job with that. Blue Ammons uh, also is... Um, an original composition, just beautiful, beautiful sound. And there's two more tracks. Confirmation is probably the only track that I liked a little bit less, um, but it's still a beauty. Um, it's, a, it's an upbeat number by Charlie Parker. And Stompin' at the Savoy, which is of course a classic, and uh, it comes across beautifully on this. I was just jaw dropped at the sound on this. And if you love uh, a 
lyrical beauty and fabulous playing <laughs> just like gorgeous sound this record is a high recommendation you will not be disappointed i was so thrilled with it so many jazz albums i'll try sometimes and you know they they have one or two good tracks and i like them a little bit or not at all <laughs> and this one i like it all the way through i love it i absolutely love it it's a great pressing um, by QRP. Beautiful jacket, uh, stout and single uh, jacket with a gloss finish. It has a great label, which I had not seen before, a silver and black prestige label. It's stereo, it's beautiful, get it. It's, it's well, well worth the money. I know these are expensive and they're not discounted anywhere else, so you have to get them through acoustic sounds. But this one is a winner, an absolute winner, and I'm so glad to have it in my collection. So that is my Sunday morning jazz pick. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, until next time, I'm Scott for The Pressing Matters. Take care.